Welcome to day four of the ITS World Congress in Copenhagen. Wednesday started with the launch of the China-Europe Joint Innovation Center and the signing of a memorandum of understanding between Ertico, ITS Europe and ITS China. The city of Hamburg and Ertico also recommitted to working together to make the 2021 ITS World Congress a success. The spirit of collaboration and connectivity was reiterated when we caught up with the chairman of Ertico's supervisory board. I'm excited to be part of this uh, Congress, which is, uh, I dare to say, already beyond our expectations in this really beautiful city and with all these uh, nice people and companies and stakeholders that we have here today. So this is really a very, very interesting event. And I think one of the most important aspects one can observe here is this spirit of uh, networking, of uh, collaboration that you see among all stakeholders of uh, the mobility ecosystem that participate uh, to this 25th uh, World Congress. Is, uh, we are really excited to have that for 25 years in a row. So this collaboration spirit is really in, in, in the center of philosophy and strategy of Ertico. And a Congress like this one is really the perfect platform where links can be created and can be strengthened between policy makers, the industry, the research society and the users. So we are at Here Technologies, we are contributing to the future of IETS by really putting location at the center of all those discussions. Because it's really true that location is the glue of combining everything together. And not only location is the glue, but if you think about all the different modes of transportation that are being added in, within a city environment, all those elements need to come together. We, we need to create visibility on that and we really need to adapt our location based services to make it easier for the citizens to get uh, from point A to point B. You know, I really like the main topic of the ITS World Congress this year. It's called ITS Quality of Life and our objective is to enhance the mobility, to make it more efficient, to contribute to enhance the quality of life for our customers. And we think that the shaping the future of mobility is a joint effort and it's a perfect platform here at the Congress to meet like-minded partners. We are happy to be here at uh, the World Congress 2018 because we want to meet with all our friends and partners, our PTO companies, our regulators in the different cities and uh, also want to see what is new, what's hot, uh, what's cooking, what can we adapt and with whom can we partner. At this uh, ITS World Congress we are showcasing our whole ride pooling concept and like the star is our vehicle, the Moya Plus 6 that you see in the background of me. There was a lot of energy in the startup area where companies were pitching to potential investors. As KPMG, we have two interests working together with the startups and with ITS. The first is to identify business models because we want to advise our clients on how to adapt to the revolution that we are experiencing. And then the second thing, obviously, is to find clients that we could assist, that we could assist in building their business model, in evaluating the business model in doing the details for the business models or from a legal part, me, I'm a lawyer, defining what are the limits to the business models and how could you implement it. With blue skies above, we set out to test the Mars application that was launched especially for the Congress. Another example of an integrated solution that keeps people moving efficiently. The day ended with cocktail receptions hosted by the three regions where dignitaries and delegates had the chance to share ideas and an end of day drink after which guests attended the official gala evening to celebrate the Congress's 25th anniversary. Don't forget that today we're welcoming the public to join us at the exhibition and to share in the intelligent transport solutions on display.